Hey guys, how's it going? I'm uh, I'm going back to the old format. I, I couldn't get behind doing all that editing and all that stuff when I'm, you know, working and just trying to live a normal life. So, we're going back to the old way where I would just record, cut, put it to YouTube, make an episode every day. I don't know if I'm going to be doing it daily, but I guess we'll see. So today, we're going back to a blast from the past. This is... Uh, Ratchet and Clank, uh, Size Matters, this was, <laughs> I know what you're thinking, this looks terrible, <laughs> you would be right, you, you would be completely right, so this game in particular, has no save, oh, back, new game, okay. So this game in particular was a PSP game that was ported to the PS2. It did well enough on the PSP that people wanted it on the PS2. I honestly don't get why. Maybe it was a story, maybe it was actually pretty good. When I was a kid, I couldn't actually get through this game. I thought it was too hard. I had a few games like that when I was a kid. Swear, Clank, I'm done with all that hero stuff. Now, let's see. I'll save the universe. And, uh, I need a little me time. If there is trouble, then it is our duty to ensure that. <sighs> nah, what'd you do that for? Whoa, whoa, uh, what are you doing? I'm taking pictures for my school project. I'm doing a report on now, if you look at the aspect ratio here, it's meant for like the ultra widescreen TVs. I see you have a knack for but this game came out, I still had one of those uh, tube TVs, you know, the ones with the big box on the back of them. And they're square. So having an aspect ratio like this on one of those square TVs, you could barely see what was going on. I'm already having a hard time seeing what's going on because of. How low quality this is. Scheduled in 15 minutes, but uh, oh, what the heck? I could use a bit of exercise. Come on, buddy. Let's put on a good show. Our little reporter here. I am going to regret this. Perfect. Auto save feature. Okay. Back to it. Oh man, it's been so long since I played a Ratchet and Clank game. I uh, actually hooked up my old PS2, and I found out that uh, my controllers still don't work. The one controller, the uh, circle button sticks, so it's impossible to actually like shoot accurately with Ratchet. Especially in a game where conserving ammo actually matters. There we go. Oh, what? Okay, there we go. Um, and my other controller, the R1 and R2 would not work. And in this game, you have to be able to do them, uh, high jumps. Not so much in the other games, I don't think. Like, I'm pretty sure RPR Arsenal had, like, the wall jump, which was the, uh, the big deal, but I think that they still had, like, a tutorial thing where you had to use it. So I've actually never beat this game. I've beaten... I think every other Ratchet and Clank game for the PS2, except for Secret Agent Clank. Press the R1 button and X oh, while running. While to do running. A jump. There we go. Press and hold the L1 button to enter first person mode. Aim and fire at the target on the gate to open it. Good old tutorial stage. I freaking love the idea that Ratchet was just trying to have a holiday. And then this girl just comes up and makes him do all this stuff. Uh, for all you uh, nerds out there, crates behind this waterfall. Oh, and now I'm in the void. Oh, yep, there we go. Yeah, this was back before uh, cameras were good. 
using the antelope oh, to God. The mm, yep. Where am I going? There we go. So she just told me to do this. So yeah, sure, I'll do it. Switch back. Try out one of these long jumps. And now, you're probably thinking to yourself, where do I go? You go over this. The camera is so bad in this game. And it's mostly because this was just made for PSP. And then they kind of just like shoved it on the PS2. So like you can almost, n you can almost not blame them for this, but like, still though. There's, there's, there's so that would have been way better. Like honestly, I have no clue why I'm starting with this game and not the, the first one in the series, but... I don't know, I just felt like playing uh, Ratchet and Clank Size Matters. Oh, I leveled up. Cool. That was another thing as a kid that I just, uh, couldn't understand was how the level up mechanic in this game works. And to be fair, as a 21 year old, I I'm, I'm still not sure what it, how it works. If you need more ammunition, oh no, I'm out of ammo. Vendor. No, I'm not out of ammo anymore. That doesn't matter though, because these enemies are just... They're, they're so weak. I almost have an easier time just using my, uh, my, uh, wrench here as a weapon than I do the gun. That, uh, floating orb there, that's, uh, health. You know what, nah, I'm, I'm not gonna explain every aspect of Ratchet and Clank to you people. Let's just have a good time with this. Because you guys will learn these basic mechanics soon. <laughs> he just lets it float in the air. I love it. What? Clank! What a coincidence! What are you doing here? I am trailing Ratchet and Clank to see what they are doing, so I can join in on their next adventure. Hey, that's what I'm doing! <laughs> uh, no, wait, I, I mean, I, 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 uh... Do you not have somewhere else to go? Home to your family, perhaps? Hey, Cork. Nice hat. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Cork. What? Was that your mother's hat or something? Seriously, dude, it's just a hat. It's not that. My mother and father. I never knew my family. I was given up for adoption as a baby and was raised by monkeys. Okay. Uh, thanks for sharing. Perhaps you should attempt to find your real parents. There she is. Get her. Oh, we got some plot. Uh, looks like I'm gonna be late for my massage. Let's go. <laughs> yep, you're, you're you're gonna be very late for your massage, there, Ratchet. Stronger robots. Oh, and they turn into smaller robots. Cool. I don't know what it is about this game, but it just, it feels like all stretched and misproportioned. Okay, the first bit of damage I've taken. Oh, I better be careful. Any health over here? No? Okay. 
And as time goes by, and I think as we uh, take on more levels. Magnetic surfaces using your gravity boots. Hey, up that wall. we just get gravity boots at the at the beginning of this. And all the other Ratchet and Clank games, you actually had to work for that. So these guys have a ranged and a melee attack. Interesting, interesting. Oh yeah, by the way, just so you guys know, these Ratchet and Gang claims, they're littered with secrets. Like that might be a secret over there, that platform. But I kinda don't wanna risk it. <laughs> yeah, let's go for it. At this pace, oh, 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 yep, yep, called it. <laughs> uh, I forget what those huge bolts, those titanium bolts are for. I think they're for like uh, unlocks and upgrades or whatever for your character. And they have like a certain amount of them in each uh, stage. The wrench is so good. Oh yeah, and whenever you level up, it also uh, regenerates uh, your health. Oh, now I'm going to be eaten by a fish, right? Oh, I'm way back here. Did I get to keep my level? Yeah, I got to keep my level. Interesting, interesting. So I could just, uh... Try to speed run through this. That's probably what I'm gonna do. You can run up magnetic surfaces using your gravity boots. Try walking up that wall. I wonder if anybody's ever speed run this game. And if so, what their time is. <laughs> the game confused. Was not expecting me to be right there. That overhead chop is so hard to do in this game. You know, I think I know what the issue is with this game compared to all the other Ratchet and Clank games. So, in all the other Ratchet and Clank games, they go with like an overhead view that looks kind of down on Ratchet. As for with this game, you have this like side view from the back that looks at Ratchet. And I think that's what the issue is. So you, you, you get less depth to go off of. So the Amotron. Okay, so maximum ammo. That just buys ammo for everything? Yeah. And then this, this is a gun that I can unlock later. It's like a shotgun. Am I supposed to go here? Yes, I am. Okay, here we go. A secret over there. Nah. You might want a gun. The jump button is your friend in this game. Okay. I think for the episodes, I think we're going to go level by level. How are people supposed to be, like, having a vacation on this island? Like, this is just one death trap after another. Jesus Christ. Oh 
my god, the camera is just not being nice today. Oh, I died? Oh, I'm all the way back here. At least I get to keep my bolts. God, this is annoying. If you fall off the side, you're, you're pretty much dead. If you go anywhere else, you're pretty, you're pretty much dead. And you need to dodge. Well, at least we leveled up. Here, I'll just try to speedrun this. There we go. Goodbye. Maybe the acid bombs where it's at. Wait, how's that affecting them? They're hovering. I think the game knows that you have to like, uh... Oh my god! This is actually starting to get annoying. I better switch my weapon before the game's just like... Oh, oh, now you're using the acid bomb against enemies in water. At least every time you do this, you gain more levels, so it makes it a little easier. Do this again. We'll grab this ammo. God. I don't think I'll ever be able to hit one of those overhead chops. And oh, another titanium bolt. There we go. Okay guys, I, I, I don't know where all the titanium bolts are. I'm just getting lucky. You know how sometimes you can kind of like read the map? Oh yeah, and sometimes they actually do this where you can actually like look back and you can see where the, uh, the secret is. And then you could like go back later, like I bet you from up on that platform you could see the titanium bolt very easily. Oh hey, great platforming. I, I can I, I really know where I am in comparison to these platforms. How did anybody play this on a PSP? <laughs> Please, if you ever owned a PSP in this game. How did it play on the PSP? Hmm, some of them don't explode into the uh, crawling spider thing. There's a platform over there. There's this over here. Is this anything special? No? I bet we come back to that at some point. <laughs> I 
Just uh, running around in circles here. Gotta go fast. Oh, plot. Oh, so they succeeded at abducting the child. I can't believe we lost her. Why would they want a little girl? Hmm. I do not believe they were after her. I believe they were after this. Well, uh, this is, uh, uh, what is this? If my memory bank serves me correctly, I believe it is a Technomite artifact. Yeah, right. Yeah. A Technomite? What is it? It is a Technomite artifact. Look, Plank, that girl is in trouble and we can help her. Technomites are just some fairy story that parents tell their kids to explain how technology works. They don't really exist. I believe they do exist, and this could prove it. That is why those robots wanted that child to get this object. Did we? Did you? <laughs> Ooh, that was quite a jog. <laughs> is that what I think it is? Oh, gimme, gimme, gimme. I haven't seen one of these since... Well, I've never actually seen one, but I've heard stories about the Technomite. They're mystical objects. There are no Technomites! But this is our only lead. If you want to help that girl, we should follow the coordinates etched on the side. Fine. Let's get out of here. See ya, Quark. And please, stay out of our way this time. Okay, well, I guess that's uh, that's the end of this uh, level, I guess. And we're going to a different planet. Rylus. Cool. So I guess in the next episode, we'll be uh, checking out Rylus here. Um, you know what, I'll... <laughs> the Quark, why? Have abandoned this area. Yeah, the Technomites. They're real tricky that way. Alright, let's get this over with. Where are we going? Well... I'd go that way. No, that's just me. Oh, Quark. Why can't you just leave us alone? Look, I can help you. I can Freaking Quark. Before. Do you know where we should take this object? Of course I do. But what's in it for me? You want to find your family, right? Uh-huh. Well, if you tell us where to go, you can stay here and use our ship's computer to research your family history. Ooh, great idea. I'll do it. <laughs> Quark, where do we take the artifact? I try that big building. For some reason, the good stuff is always in the biggest buildings. Thanks, Quark. You've been helpful. Really insightful. So, uh, yeah, I guess in the next episode we'll be checking out Rylus and uh, we'll see where this artifact leads us. So, uh, until then, we'll see you next time. Bye for now.